Hey there everyone, I'm Ascendus and welcome back to Canarium. Now this video took a little longer than I wanted it to, to come out, but it's because I had a lot of audio problems. I had to take care of technological problems, but I got that all taken care of. And uh, I definitely tell my confidence level on how long Max took me. <laughs> Thanks for watching and let's get into the video. Oh wow, this definitely isn't my third time playing the game. No way! I didn't wait two weeks to do this. Everything is fine, everything is new. Yeah! Yay! <laughs> Whoa, what are you? What are you? I'm, I'm surprised. Yeah, I'm surprised. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Actually, I don't know what that is because my character's going insane. I forgot I could run. Burn up. Burn up. No, I'm not even going to bother closing that door because I know nothing's going to get me. Blah, blah, blah. We got, we got you. What are you? Gonna open all these up like before. You didn't see that, but that's what I did before, so that's what I'm doing now. <sighs> let's see, let's see, let's see. We got all this. Got all this good stuff. We got. Okay, mm. we, we picked that up. Cool, cool, cool. It's about the plant. What do we got in here? A little, a little cylinder. A little. By a bumpy cylinder by the looks of it. Oh, I wonder where that could go. I have no idea. Wow, I have definitely not played this. Uh, let's, let's see. There's a lot of cool stuff in this game. I, I don't really mind having to play it like again. But I like showing you guys this stuff. So no matter what, no matter how many times I have to retry this, bam. The only reason I had to redo all this is because my mic and audio was very... Not right. It was awful. You can see I'm very coherent with my words. Love these plants, and these remind me... I don't know what the book is, but it's a book that people have tried to decipher for years. But I've never been able to decipher it, because it's probably just nonsensical writing. Or I don't know. Oh, actually, I don't know if I looked at those pictures before. Yeah, the cat did that before, but not from when I looked at the pictures... Which is surprising. Okay, that's Egypt. New campsite was established. Waiting for new samples. Yes, you are. There's a problem with one of the pairs. I'm, yeah. I, I marked it. It must be checked immediately. There's no one could be wrong with the pair, you crazy bastard. Okay. Oh, more door. More door. Come on. More door. There's nothing here. What do you expect me to do? Do you think I remember what to do? No. Unfortunately, one of our researchers, C. Lenning, was found dead in the bio lab last Tuesday. Cause of death is currently uncertain, but judging by the accumulation of a mass of green substance found in his mouth and throat area, Dr. Barlow, our botany expert, thinks that Lenning was smothered by small, sticky, greenish clumps that look like pollen, belonging to the living samples of the plant Sahiti. Sahiti. Oh, that's how it's saying. The Paleozoic era. Dr. DeWitt will perform a post-mortem examination on his body soon. Ooh, nice cat. Kitty cat. Now we're going to open this whole thing up. So let's open this up. Sahiti. Oh, yeah. I like that name. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And this is the point where we back away and leave um, the base forever. Go wander out into the wilderness and die. Oh, look at that. Oh, god damn. I got plant, plant jizz all over me. God damn. And now we can die. Yeah, I've done that three times, and I don't know if you have to do that to progress. I'm just going to assume you have to do it to progress, because I'm going to put that cat. That cat's going to do something. Let's go to you. Let's go to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it sounds all warped and wibbly. Now the cat's going. What do you want? I don't know what it is, but it's always those little cat noises that are disturbing. Come on. Come on. Okay, you're... No. Oh, uh, definitely going crazy here. Turn my light back on. Cat is gone. Cat is gone. Not. Okay, that doesn't do anything. 
Ooh, but there's this. This is a... Ooh, 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 ooh. No, you don't. He's getting out his little tendrils. It's trying to form a hentai. No. Ew, they don't even look like plants. Okay, let's close this, because that'll definitely... Oh. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't recall it happening before, but I was always looking this way when it happened. I guess that was supposed to... I don't know. Ooh, what's this? Yes. These are the pre-human species we found. Nah, that's a penis monster. Or a cactus. A cactus penis, if you will. Oh, ooh, dead body. Oh no, I wonder who this could be. Oh. It's impossible to determine with so much decomposition. Oh yeah. Got a key. There we go. We have finally finished excavating the monolith that was silently waiting for a soul to see it again. Situated within the circular building we reached with the link elevator, a magnificent piece of carving was buried halfway down under a mound of debris, and most probably could have been written in the earliest pages of history. I cannot describe exactly my feelings for the first time when I stood aghast, contemplating that gigantic stonework inside of those time-worn halls of silence. Only God knows how many ages have passed since its initial carving. Should I think in the books? It's probably a few million. Just thinking about its age since shivers down my spine. Which civilization could have constructed such grandeur? Now waving a forlorn goodbye without giving away the secrets of its masters? Furthermore, even though most of them are damaged but beyond repair. We spotted some symbols resembling the rock art of the Sahara Desert in southeast Algeria. Now that's interesting. It's all over the place. We don't have any strong evidence to suggest anything but Cornell Blake clings mostly to the continental drift theory. In any case, we don't have enough data on its age, but it is evident that history needs to be written yet again. Like I was saying, millions of years, because it would have had to have been hundreds of thousands of millions of years for Antarctica and all those places to split apart. Because it could have all been in one place before, you know. These alien dicks probably lived here a long time ago. When Antarctica wasn't frozen. That explains something. Where are we going? Phallic monsters everywhere. I thought there was a garbage can. I was going to start digging around in it. Open up. Okay. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. oh, I don't know what's happening to me. My head is fuzzy. I definitely won't see a doctor in a chair anytime soon. Oh, no. Maybe I should see a doctor if this is happening. But I don't think there's anyone in Antarctica that could help me. Unless they're like deep underground or aliens or in turn for the help they enslave me forever. Is something gonna happen? Okay. Ooh. Yeah. That looks like a vegetable. Oh yeah, there he is. Oh. No more can we harbor ourselves on the safest shores, for there are things that cannot be undone. I think you should retire to your room. I, I am going to think a bit more. Damn. I don't know why, but every time I play this, that gets to me. Every single time. The audio effects are amazing on there. There are things that cannot be undone. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Never look at the bottom of those. Maybe there's a secret somewhere. Okay. Antarctica. Plant. Squiggly lines around it that resemble words. Antarctica. Gotha. A map of uh, some sort. And a drawer. Okay. Let's get out of here. Why is it so dark? I don't remember it being so dark. Window. Can't see anything out there. Okay. Let's go this way. A few cool paintings. It's okay. They're just kissing. They're not devouring their son. He's just kissing his son, not eating him. It's okay. It's normal. You know, father Lost. kissing their sons on the, the neck. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Lost. It's locked. Yeah, you know, the Greek gods are crazy dudes. Oh, I'll be my son. Oh no, he's gonna overthrow me if I don't eat him. So I'll be my son, and the other guy eats his son, and they, they, they eat each other's kids. I don't know. There's a whole lot of cannibalism on, but Zeus doesn't like cannibalism, so I don't understand it. Okay, 
Ooh, off, oh, wicked fuck. Okay, get, get, get got. Okay, I got, I got a thing. It's not, I can't use my thing. Or can I use my thing on you? Oh, it's like floating turds flying into my eyes and mouth. Beautiful. That's what you always want, that's what you want. I stroll through the hallway, and the floating Hermaeus Mora turd monster comes and gets you. He's perfectly fine. Okay, come on. We are out of that. Zeusis. It looks like the Eye of Horus. Or Horus, I don't know how it's pronounced. The Eye of Horus. Enter to This. Book. Book. Oh, that is so cool. I don't, I'm not going to read that, but I want to take the time to look at these pictures. That is beautiful. Actually, it's kind of hard to read on here. I might have to read it in the other format that it shows, but there's so much cool stuff. Okay. Okay. This stuff is pretty cool, though. Okay. I've got a trophy. I'm going to look at every map I find. I don't care what you say. Okay, we're gonna need this. It's right here. Looks like a vibrator, a massager, but don't worry, it goes to an elevator. Um, can I take those? Someone else must have taken those. Yeah, maybe it will end up killing me in the future. I like this tree. I like this tree. You gotta open both doors. I wonder if this game has like any side effects, like every action matters. Because what if opening this just cascades into a bunch of other stuff going on? He's like, how is this tree even down here? How is this happening? How is this happening? I'm going to keep that open. Consequences? I don't know what those are. Okay, so the link elevator. Barrels. Ah, oh, oh. Yeah, there we go. Let's get good. The only way, of course. I don't even know if you're human. Hey, hey, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Damn it. Yeah, oh, damn it. You know, that could very easily be one of the, the Elder Ones, Ancient One, whatever they are. Or um, Cthulhu, you know? Okay, let's put this in. First, we're going to go up. Yeah, look at that. Look at that, I know what to do. I'm going the right way this time. The other times I always went down first. I don't know why, but I did. But now I'm in this. It's very cinematic, and they have lots of details. And I enjoy that. It's pretty. It's pretty. You're pretty. Thank you, all of you. You're very beautiful people. Okay. I can run through this. Look at that detail. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah. That's going to be useful later. I know it is. If anyone hasn't told you yet, I hope you have a great day. Yeah, and you matter. There you go. Don't do drugs. Hey, this is amazing. Most of the ground level structures have been crumbled and rounded from untold eons of savage storms, and thus weathered into shapeless ruins. It's kind of hard to see the little squiggly on the screen. Both the ground level and the cavern systems below are clearly displayed in these bas reliefs. Ooh, the most striking features depicted in this grand panorama, I believe, are the tall, occasional towering spires. Oh, yeah. A lighthouse. I don't understand how those work here. Like focusing a light beam towards a colossal structure in the center. I found those underground by the recordings. Could there be some sort of religious meaning behind this? Or simply something that has a more practical use? <laughs> I mean, if all this time has passed, they, they were all on like the same tectonic plate, right? Because none of this would work out. The light wouldn't be shining there. If it, it was just separated by two plates. Okay. It's pretty neat. Pretty cool. Um, can, it, can, it, can it say... Ooh, I feel like I go blind looking into that. Yeah, but I mean, I still don't get it. C 
Because with the way the game works, later on they have the towers like this. But they're all like underground. If you, if you, uh, I don't get it. I'll never get it. I don't understand a thing that's put in front of me. Don't try speaking to me. I won't understand your words. But these are pretty cool. Unless it's in the comments down below, then you can do that. Yeah, you see what I did there. I can only understand comments in the YouTube forum. Yet again, before I leave this tower, last compliment I'll give for this video. You're all amazing people. Where am I going? No, 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 we're not, we're not, we're not doing this. We're going down again. Here we go. Redix. Oh, hell yeah, look at that. Now that's pretty. Out oh, there. <laughs> you ever have one of those sneezes that doesn't sneeze? Just never comes out. I have those constantly. I hate it. Okay, axe. I'm going to need that later. There's some strange vegetation filling most of the hallways, amazing as it is deadly. There's a hidden world right beneath the Opuat base, and even though I was prepared to find such a place, it was way different than imagining alone. We tried to cut our way through, but the plant reacted with a highly poisonous gas seemingly coming through its glowing buds. I issued a warning to stop anyone going near any of these plants they came across in any of these caverns. I also noticed a strange phenomenon after I spent some time examining a sample from the plant. It occurred to me that individual vines grow and shrink in length on demand. It also seems as though it can move, even though there are no air currents, and this movement seems too regular to be caused by natural factors. This may sound strange, but I have the notion that it is conscious at least at some level. I mean, very well could be. Who knows? This kind of stuff, light can be conscious in, in this scenario. This uh, mythologist. Hey, I'm guessing there's not. Dr. Morgan? Anybody? Something's telling me Dr. George James Wait, Morgan. Yeah. Something's telling me Dr. James and Morgans aren't going to be down here. Like, how would they be down here? The, the extents that I have to go to get down here? Everything is blocked off in front of me, so they're just blocking their exits. I don't get it. Doesn't make sense. There we go. Oh yeah, melted away, melted away. Pussy bar can't handle light. Yeah. Like that was way upstairs. There's no way the doctors are down here. I'm being fucked with with an ancient entity that also seems to shouldn't piss all over the floor. Look at that. Look at that and tell me that's not like Dude, shit all over the floor. Come on. Look at that. Is that an egg? Like that stuff's still moving, that's still wet. After all these years, you expect that it'll dry up. Dry it up, you know? Did I say dry? It's okay. Ooh, look at that. This does remind me of Destiny, though, like going through the, the Dreadnought. It just has that, like, insectoid feeling to it, like a bunch of bone bugs are living there, you know? Bone bugs. Bone bugs. So they're sloppy, you know. Bone bugs are always sloppy. They sit on thrones made out of their own feces by the look of it. Yeah. That's right. That's my guess, so it's gotta be right. Well, there's excavation gear down here. So that means people definitely have been here. But I don't know about recently. Not making a lick of sense. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh yeah. What's happening? What's happening? I don't know. I don't understand anything that's ever going on around me. I'm constantly enamored by the very flux of my existence. Don't worry about it. I don't think we saw anything. I I didn't. Okay, where 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 I go? Where I go? Where I go? This way. There might have been something over there I could have picked up. Not that I can remember, so it's okay. Okay, we have this. 
games like this, you have to explore everywhere. You're gonna miss a trophy. You're gonna miss a thing. You're gonna miss this. <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. These, 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 these are very important. Very important. It's not like I've done that twice already. No, no, not at all. I don't know what's happening. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and even leave a comment down below if you'd like to. And I'll see you in the next video.